I really have been looking forward to doing this video and having this conversation about Erling Haaland and Lissandro Martinez. There's going to be battles all over the pitch in this Manchester derby on Sunday. Genuinely, I think it will be a battle. United have got a backbone. Finally, we have some aggression in our team. Finally. And no matter the result on Sunday, I think we'll put in a performance that befits the United shirt. That's what I'm hoping for anyway. But Martinez against Haaland is a battle which could well define the outcome of this game. In this video, I'm going to run through with some screen grabs from Haaland's performance against Martinez in Dortmund's 4-0 loss against Ajax in the 2021 group stage Champions League game where Martinez was man of the match. How did he stop him then? Then we're going to take a look at how Haaland's been playing this season, how he's been scoring so many goals. A goal every 46 minutes in the Premier League and how Martinez has been playing so well. Combining all those together, we're going to talk about how Martinez is going to go about stopping Erling Haaland. Oh, football's back. This is a big one and I'm looking forward to it. Make sure you drop a like on the video and subscribe and make sure you let me know what you think in the comments below. But let's dive straight into this one. As I said, we're going to use screen grabs and a little bit of a tactical analysis of how Martinez played against Erling Haaland during the 4-0 win for Ajax in Dortmund's Champions League group stage. Gee, there's too many things I'm talking about here. Let's just talk about it. There are characteristics of Martinez's defensive game that we've seen come into the Premier League. And one thing I would say is Erling Haaland is definitely a better player than he was here. He's improved massively. But it's not to say that what he, what Martinez did in this game, he could just go and do in this game on Sunday and it would work. Martinez is a bit of a different beast. But it, let's take a look at them here. You can see Martinez. Look, one big buzzword you're going to see throughout all of this is the aggression of Lissandro Martinez. This one here, Erling Haaland could have gone left and right. He said, no, nah, man, I'll have the ball. Thank you very much. Take it off your feet. This one here is a, a particularly good one. Composure. Uh, Martinez could have shot himself with Haaland pressing down on him. I very much doubt he's going to have this much space and time on the ball when it comes to the game on Sunday. He won't. But look, you can skip past him. This one here, I talk about aggression going up against the back of Haaland, giving him no space. It's going to be a very, very important aspect to the game on Sunday and trying to squeeze the space away from Haaland. Again, closing that space. Making sure Haaland had no time to breathe on the ball. This one here is particularly good. As Martinez says, chill on the ball. Look at that. No, thank you very much. Composure again. Winning headers when he needs to. Vision when he needs to. Again, aggressive. Instead of closing the space and being scared of the, play, the Haaland behind him. No, he goes aggressive into the tackle here. And again, it's about composure. There's lots that we can take from those games, from that, from that performance, and from how, hard, how Martinez played against Haaland here. But what I'm going to do now compare it to the Premier League this season it's the more what we've seen there is that Martinez gained an advantage on Haaland by being aggressive against him and he has to do that on Sunday but as I said Haaland's a bit of a different beast at the moment this moment in time let's move on to this one yeah big up to Manscaped for supporting United People's TV if you've not heard of Manscaped where have you been for the last few months I'm here with the bad boy the full package the 4.0 and you know all the good stuff that's in it if you don't know come on this lawnmower, seriously, if you haven't used it, you don't get nicked. If you've ever gone shaving down there, it's a dangerous, dangerous place. All you got to do is follow the link in the description. You get 20% off on United People's TV and you get free international shipping. You get, what else you get in there? You get the little nose trimmer. Jeez. Crop reviver, crop preserver. Honestly, I didn't, I didn't know these things existed or I needed them until I got them. So follow the link in the description. You get 20% off with United People's TV. What more could you want? You need to. Seriously, take it from me. Haaland really has been phenomenal in the Premier League. It's painful to say it, but it's just a complete and utter truth. And when you take a look at the goals he's scored, there is a real variety to his game. But what I would say is he's just a predator in the box. And this is what United have got to watch out for. We take a look at this one here. This is his hat trick, I believe, against Crystal Palace. The ball floated over by Foden. No question Haaland's winning that header. No question Haaland's scoring. Easy. Done. Next one here, Haaland. Look at where he is on the six-yard line. You can't really stop him if the ball comes into him there and the ball does come into him there. Easy poacher's goal into an empty net. This one here, this is particularly dangerous. Haaland can also make the runs in, not in behind, but look at the... This This could happen very well happen on Sunday. You could see Martinez and Varane here trying to mark Haaland, but he's running into the space and City have got the playmakers to make those sorts of passes. He finds the back of the net. And this one here in particular... Look, if United try and play a high line, which I don't think they would on Sunday, look at that ball in behind from Kevin De Bruyne. Haaland makes absolutely no mistake. Finishes with a plomb right into the corner. This one here, 
Haaland, right place, right time. Boom, into an empty net. This one again, Predator running to the front post. Easy, easy goal. Easy, easy finish for a, for a player who's making goal scoring really look easy. And it's scary. But Martinez, Haaland has been incredible. Martinez has been incredible, in my opinion, from a defensive perspective. And what I'm going to do now is pull up some examples of, of things and uh, patterns and characteristics we've seen to Martinez's game that he's going to be taking into the match on Sunday. And eh, probably not the best example to come up for Brighton, but this, these are sort of characteristics and, and aspects that I think are really important to Martinez's game in terms of reading when to be aggressive and when to not be aggressive, when to jump in for the header. And he's capable. He's got a ver very good vertical leap. It doesn't really matter that he's small. That's going to be one of the big things that's said on Sunday. Oh, Haaland's huge. Martinez is he's not going to do anything against him. But it's how you use that height. You can be six foot four and an absolute completely meek. You can't you might not use that frame properly. Martinez uses every single inch that he's got to his own advantage. And again, composure here in the Premier League, sometimes turning in space when he needs to. And we will need that because Haaland will be pressing down on him intensely. I remember this one. That tackle that he put in there. Woo. Oh, Puts his body on the line, Martinez does. He really, really does. Again, when to go in aggressively. Again, when to make that run to the front post. Again, when to be aggressive. When to put your foot in. Again, composure when it's there and when it's needed. Aggression. Jumping in for the header. Aggression. Being in the right place at the right time. I can't wait to see how this duel sort of pans out. Because... It's pretty much going to be, in my opinion, the, the sort of the definition of the game. Whether or not Manchester United can go and beat City at the Etihad on Sunday, I think whether or not Martinez has a good game against Erling Haaland is going to be a major, major factor. Let me just pull this up on screen here. So I can, one second there. What happens when you don't prepare completely? Uh, uh, uh. Sometimes I do this in my live streams, but I never normally do it in my edited videos. Anyway, let's get this together. Let's get that up on screen. Woof. Martinez against Haaland, right? Do you think it's the, it's the be all and end all of this game? There's going to be battles all over the pitch. You know, how do we stop De Bruyne? And that's a big, big thing that we've got to make sure that we don't get caught up in. If we focus too much on stopping Erling Haaland, we're going to leave space galore for the likes of Phil Foden, Mahrez, uh, Grealish, De Bruyne to make late runs into. And that's the danger of City. They've got danger everywhere. So you can't just look at stopping Haaland and thinking, hmm, that's how you stop City. In the same way, in the opposite sense, where I think if City look at United and go, you know what, if we stop Christian Eriksen getting on the ball, we can probably stop quite a lot of United's forward attacking play. And I think they will do that. But Martinez, for me, has been... An absolute breath of fresh air. To see the sort of aggression levels that he's got, see how he's been playing, see him doing it game after game and leading without the armband. That's what I would say about Martinez. And for, for a team that's not had a backbone for so long, right? It's a different feeling going into this derby. Now, we may well fall short in terms of quality overall in a 90-minute game and City may well come up on, out on top. In my opinion, I think we'll lose 2-1. But I think the performance itself is where we're going to be measured. If that, that, as a United fan, that's what I'm measuring this game on. I'm not, I, the, winning this game will not make our season. Losing this game will not break our season. It may help as another springboard to take it further up, but we've beaten Liverpool and Arsenal. We've beaten the teams around us. And this is the first season under Ten Hag, and the process is going to be a long one. But Martinez has brought something different to this team. The Butcher of Manchester. And I hope he butchers Haaland on Sunday. It's fascinating. It's going to be one of the biggest battles on the pitch. How do you think Martinez will stop him? In my opinion, he's going to have to be aggressive. He's going to have to close the space. But at the same time, the only way that works is if United play as a collective team defensive unit. Varane's going to have to be equally as aggressive. And Mal Malicia, no doubt, he will be in Delo too. They've got to cover the spaces for each other because if, if one person or Martinez is dragged away by Haaland and someone else comes in and the space is there. Any hard work that's done by stopping Haaland will be undone by allowing others in. It's going to be a hell of a tough game. But I'm looking forward to this tussle. And I hope this video sort of helped you understand how Martinez stopped him previously. And it was a lot of aggression, a lot of squeezing the space out. But Haaland was a bit more isolated at Dortmund compared to where he is now at City. He's a predator in the box. 
Varane's going to have to play equally as well as Martinez if we're going to be able to stop him. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe if you're new. And big up to George, by the way, for helping with all the research for this video. And I hope you enjoy these sorts of videos that take a little bit longer. So make sure you drop a like on it if you did.